Do you have some audition tips or any advice that you have in, in regards to auditioning? Change so much now with this. Um, park early. If when you have to go to them, park early. Don't take any of the process. Don't, you know, they parked out way out in like a fucking field and you got to get on a, a, a mule cart to come into the studio. Just roll with it. Roll with it. Uh, that can be prepared so you can be, if you can, because if you're lucky and you're getting like three auditions a day in the old days, you know, then, you know, you don't have a lot of time to like, you know, man, I have an Earl Grey tea and then I pet my Angora sheep for a while. After that, you know, uh, I meditate and you're like, you should die. <laughs> no, I drive. I pull off of where Paramount is. I make sure I don't get a ticket. I get it, you know, I get into there. They look for my name. Uh, I've done enough shows. You think they might have my name there. Maybe they don't. Maybe, don't you know who I think I am? And then they walk down there and then like an executive blocks you from getting onto the sidewalk with his big fuck off car. And he looks at you like a fish. Then you walk in and there's 50 guys who are bald and fat. And all of them are talented. <laughs> and you go, what am I doing? I'm an asshole. <laughs> Don't let that get into your head. Because <laughs> it's going to. Let me do that screen wipe. I mean, the more we treat our brain, our ego, like a, an iPhone screen, and go, huh? all right, you know, the better off you'll be. And don't. Don't ask the casting directors how it's going with you all the time. Ask to stop. If it's not going, stop. Take it upon yourself to make your best shot for you. And 90% of, I think, all casting exists. I used to have my big mistake when I came to L.A. is I was arrogant, and I thought, I've acted with Gilgood. I've acted on the West End. I've, you know, I've worked with Jeremy Irons. And look at me, you know, and how dare you? And, you know, oh, casting people are just, no, no. When I got Robin Hood, I auditioned for it. I didn't get it the first time in LA. I got it in London with Zimmerman. David Zimmerman cast me in Robin Hood. How'd that happen? Because he just, he said, they should look at this guy. They go, I think we already looked at him. They go, bring him in. I was at the height of Who's Line too, So I was really vibrating there. I was a hit and you know, my ego was very well fed. And I thought, well, I might as well go in again. And if you just, and they said, we got you an uh, audition with the director. So before it was the director, uh, Eileen Starger, the casting agent, and I didn't get it here. So when I did get it there and I was a minor celebrity, they'd have me on the talk shows and I would bash Eileen Starger on TV. Uh, and I don't know if she's still alive. And if she is, I think I've apologized enough. Um, I was an arrogant toad. Um, but when I came here, I think that I think because I've come to auditions, there was a couple more famous casting girl going, thank you, next. And I was like, wow, ouch, wow. I go, and you realize people talk, casting agents talk, they have to take it in the shorts a lot. Fortunately, <laughs> casting agents who do like me that I didn't screw it up. So I came in ex with expectations. So I think, you know, abandon, abandon expectations but have lots of hope. It's like the reverse Dante, you know? Have some hope, but abandon what you think it's going to be like. 